Now we are going to start with the basic structure of the cell. So when we talk about the component of cell, so what do we have actually? We know that cell is made up of cell is made up of cell membrane. Cell is made up of cell membrane, and everything that it contains inside is called as protoplasm. Is called as protoplasm. What is protoplasm? It is living material of cell. It is living material of cell, which is being divided into two parts. That is the liquid part, which is present within the cell. That is the cytoplasm, and uh, the one which is present in this. Uh, <clears throat> the main controlling center is the <coughs> nucleus. So, cell consists of cell membrane, it encloses the protoplasm. Protoplasm is the living material of the cell, which is divided into two parts the liquid part, <coughs> liquid part called as cytoplasm, and the brain of the cell is nucleus. So, uh, as you can see here that uh, like uh, if you are talking about plant cell and animal cell, they all contain the cell membrane, the outer one this membrane and uh, whatever is there in the cell is just the protoplasm. So, now we are going to study uh, them one by one. So, let us take the first component that is the cell membrane, that is the cell membrane. As you all can see that this is a cell membrane, this one is a cell membrane and moreover in plant cell, this is a cell membrane, the inner one is the cell membrane. So, cell membrane if we want to write the characteristics about it, so obviously it is the outer covering of the cell, it forms the outer covering of cell and how it looks like it is very thin, it is very thin. The other name for the cell membrane is the plasma membrane. It is also called as plasma membrane and if we talk about its nature that whether it is living or dead, so it is living in nature and like you have like what is the component of the cell membrane? So, cell membrane is made up of lipids and proteins, lipid embedded in proteins and the way lipids and proteins are arranged. So, they give rise to a special kind of model called as fluid mosaic model and you know that there is a one specific property for the cell membrane is that it is semi permeable in nature, it is semi permeable in nature. Now what do I mean by saying that it is semi permeable? It means it allow movement of only selected substances into or out from the cell. That means any substance or any uh, foreign particle cannot enter into the cell and any substance with the, from the cell cannot escape out even. So, cell membrane is semi permeable that means allow selective movement of substances, selected substances to pass through, it allows selected substances to pass through that is called as these are the characteristics of the cell membrane. Now, if we want to know about its function, so we know that uh, like as I told you it is outer covering, so obviously it, it provides support to cell, it provides support to cell and moreover obviously it provides shape to cell because it is an outer covering the way it is present it is going to shape the cell also. So, it is going to support the cell, it is going to uh, provide shape to the cell and moreover because it is semi permeable that means the exchange of substances can also occur as uh, so that means exchange of substances can also occur through it, exchange of substances can also occur through it. So, that means uh, it, uh, so if you talk about its function, it is supportive, it provides shape also, it allows exchange of substances also from the cell to outside and from, uh, from outside to the inside the cell, but only the selected substances can flow actually. So, if we talk about cell membrane, you have already done that this is the cell membrane and this is the cell membrane. So, what you have uh, um, what you have seen in the plant cell that in plant cell outer to the cell membrane there is one more membrane, in plant cell there is one more membrane which is called as cell wall, but no such wall is there in the animal cell. So, if we talk about cell wall how it looks like, so first of all it is the outer covering, 
it is the outer covering of only plant cell as it is present in both plant and animal but it is present only in a plant cell and if we talk about its nature it is dead it is made up of dead substance so it is dead now like uh, cell membrane is made up of lipid and proteins but it is mostly made up of cellulose it is uh, uh, mostly made up of cellulose but in case of fungi uh, there can be a possibility that cell wall is made up of some other component also like in fungi it is made up of chitin a very hard substance it is made up of chitin and uh, if we talk about uh, it's uh, like whether it is thin or thick so compared to cell membrane it is thick it is thick and moreover it, it also allow the substances to pass through but it is actually freely permeable it is actually freely permeable freely permeable means like uh, cell membrane allow only selected substances to pass through but cell wall allow any substance to uh, pass in or pass out from it so that means it is freely permeable to substances and uh, if you talk about the functions again it is performing the same function that it is also providing the support to the shell cell it is providing shape to the cell and it is allowing the exchange of substances so this is very important that uh, as i've told you that it, uh, the cell membrane is present in both but cell wall is present only in a plant cell as you can see here this is the cell wall this one and uh, it, it it is lacking such wall right but cell membrane this one the inner one is present in both so this is what about the cell membrane so you uh, like now you are familiar that uh, in plant cell we also have a membrane outer to cell membrane which is called as cell wall and moreover the other name for the cell membrane is the plasma membrane please make yourself familiar with both the names because you can get the question in either form so this is what about the cell membrane now moving on to the study of the protoplasm so we have seen that protoplasm is the living material right and it is being classified into two categories or two uh, components uh, are there which form actually protoplasm the liquid one is the cytoplasm the whole liquid which is present within the cell is cytoplasm like here also everything the liquid material which is present is called as cytoplasm this is all is the fluid is called as cytoplasm but now coming on to the nucleus which is called as brain of cell let's take it in detail that what actually is nucleus so what do we observe actually i think you have written all all those things all these things we have summed up in your copy so i'm just rubbing it out now coming on to the nucleus what we see actually nucleus is formed of many parts i told you that this is nucleus so the outer membrane of this nucleus is called as nuclear membrane so the first very component is nuclear membrane the second thing what we see is that there is a fluid again present in a nucleus also because it is pres the, uh, it is the cytoplasm only of the cell but the cytoplasm which is enclosed in the nucleus has been allotted a special name that is called as nucleoplasm so it is nucleoplasm the third thing we have a small body present here called as nucleolus and the leftover thing we have here is the thread like structure that is the nuclear material this is what is the component of the nucleus so let us study them in detail that what actually they are uh, meant for so nuclear membrane as you have seen this is the outer covering of the nucleus so it is outer covering of nucleus now if we talk about its permeability that whether it is uh, uh, semi permeable or freely permeable so obviously it encloses the nuclear material so it has to be selective for, uh, permeable because uh, it's not like that that any foreign particle which enters into the cell may get into the nucleus and may destroy the nuclear material and nuclear material you know that it is the main uh, treasure of the cell so that due to this reason reason only nuclear membrane is semi permeable it is semi permeable that is allow only selected substances to pass through whether uh, from out to in or from in to out so this is the nuclear membrane so and what is its function obviously it encloses all the components which is present in the nucleus 
nucleoplasm as I told you it is the fluid fluid that is cytoplasm which is present in the nucleus coming to nucleolus this round body this one so nucleolus is a small round body present in the nucleus it is made, uh, mainly made up of genetic material that is RNA and you know that it is actually a factory of it is actually a factory of ribosomes it helps in the synthesis of an organelle we will do it later on that what actually is the organelles so nucleolus is actually a factory of ribosomes because it is producing ribosomes for the um, cell and moreover ribosomes again they are factory of proteins because they produce proteins for the cell so as far as now nucleolus is concerned so you just need to know that nucleolus is a small round body having its own genetic material that is RNA and uh, it is a factory of ribosome as it produced this organelle ribosome so that is why it is called as factory of ribosome. The fourth component the important component or you can say the treasure of the cell is the nuclear material. So what happened this nuclear material like when you will analyze under microscope so at different stages uh, they appear to be different. So like when we see they appear to be like this a thread like structure so that is why they are called as nuclear material or chromatin material it is the thread like structure this is called as chromatin material but later in the uh, stages of the cell division they get condensed to form beautifully uh, arranged uh, chromosomes now they when they appear like this they are called as chromosomes the center part by which they are held is called as centromere and these arms are called as chromatid is called as chromatid centromere is the center one and the arms are called as chromatid now you know that this chromosome actually is made up of proteins our genetic material dna and it also carries certain fragments which are responsible for imparting the characters to the person that means it possess genes so what are genes they are tiny fragments which are present on the chromosomes which are hereditary vehicles or you can say which are responsible for imparting a characters uh, characters the characters in the uh, humans so this is what is the genes now and our, uh, what about a genetic material it is dna that is deoxy ribo nucleic acid and rna is ribo nucleic acid the full form so we have only two types of genetic material dna or rna some carries dna some carries rna depend depending upon species to species so as far as our species is concerned our genetic material is the main one is the dna but otherwise nucleolus is a, sm a small body which carries its own genetic material and that genetic material functions only for the nucleolus not for our own our whole body otherwise if somebody ask you about your genetic material it is dna that is deoxyribonucleic acid and if we talk about chromosome it is not like that only one chromosome is there there are uh, you can say that chromosomes occur in pairs actually and you know that our each cell our each cell carries except the sex cells our each cell carries 23 pairs of chromosomes carry 23 pairs of chromosomes that means the total of 46 chromosomes per cell but except the sex cells that is the, uh, the sperm and the egg in sex cells this number is actually half that is only 23 chromosomes are there not pair 23 chromosomes so this is what is the uh, nuclear material about and uh, if we talk about uh, its function i think you got it about nucleus nuclear membrane outer covering providing shape selective selectively permeable cytoplasm nucleoplasm nucleolus the small body made up of rna which is going to produce ribosomes for the cell nuclear material which appear to be thread like chromatin but later on in the different stages of cell we can just see that they are they are having a perfect shape shape a ribbon shape that is like this in which the center portion is centromere arms are chromatids and how the, what is the component of actually of chromosomes is proteins dna and genes what are genes they are tiny fragments which are hereditary vehicles also which are responsible for trans, uh, transmitting characters from parents to offspring so this is what like chromosomes are uh, what which we inherit from our uh, each parent which make us the uh, 46 number of chromosome 23 from mother 23 from father as I told you that sex cells are haploid.
that means they carry half set so 23 23 from each parent and uh, it becomes a uh, 46 so this is what is the chromosomes and genes are the hereditary vehicles which uh, bring the characteristics from parents to offspring so some genes you inherit from mother some genes you inherit from father and sometimes the, the genes of mother and uh, father for any character just blend and give rise to a new character that is the reason that you are not exactly same uh, carbon copy of your parent you possess some new characters also so this is what is the uh, nuclear nucleus about so if we uh, talk about its function so obviously it is brain of the cell because it is the controlling center of the cell it, as i told you it is treasure of the cell so that means it is a main controlling center of the cell main brain because it is going to uh, look after about all the metabolic activities and secondly if we talk about that as i told you it possesses genes also so genes are the hereditary vehicles so again it is a function of nucleus that genes uh, actually help in the transmission of characters from parents to offspring and third i told you that nucleolus is a factory of ribosomes uh, so again this is a function for the uh, nucleus so then uh, so this is all about the nucleus now moving on to the like as we have done with cell membrane we have done with cell wall we have done with nuclear uh, nucleus also so now we are going to start with the cytoplasm and we are going to see that what cytoplasm actually possess right so uh, like in a meanwhile just first try to learn these three things cell membrane cell wall and nucleus then we will then just uh, learn them write it and see that if you get it uh, completely and don't forget to practice this plant cell and animal cell because you may get a question related to it and if in case you need to show any kind of uh, cell so so it is better to show these kind of cells. So now we are going to start with the cytoplasm and the components of the cytoplasm that is the organelles. What are their functions? Why we do actually and what are they are how in a, you can say that how they are helping the cell. We are going to conduct that right. So in meanwhile just practice this.